Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, Java heap space and also garbage collection. So this is kind of a memory management um, tutorial and for some weird reason, I was taught this in school one of the first things before we even started programming and I had no idea what it was until later in my career because I had no introduction to any type of computer programming or computer systems or anything or how the inner structure of a computer is and how it uses uh, memory. So now I think it's more appropriate to talk about this instead of the first topic when you get into an introduction to programming class. And what a Java heap space is, it's uh, when a Java program starts the Java virtual machine uh, get some memory from the operating system and the Java virtual machine uses this memory and uses part of this memory for the Java heap memory and in the Java heap memory is where it stores all the objects created by the executing Java program that you created so every object you create is in this heap space and there is a maximum heap space but you can get it to grow bigger but right now uh, unless you're coding some huge project you're not gonna have to worry about that so you can do some independent research on what the maximum size is and you're going to be doing a lot of coding and a lot of creating objects to even reach that. But if you do reach that, you're going to catch a java.lang.outofmemory error. Okay, so what is garbage collection then? Garbage collection, it is an automatic memory management system that Java created. And what it does is it allocates memory back in the Java heap once you get rid of a reference to some object you created. So that's pretty cool. We don't have to worry about dealing with memory and such as languages from earlier times. Java has more abstraction to it and we don't have to deal with memory addresses and uh, pointers and all that. So let me show you what happens when we uh, get rid of a reference to an object. So let's create a couple I just, for an example, a really simple dog class right here. And I'm going to create a couple dogs. I'll say D1 equals new dog. And it takes in a name. I'm going to say Joey. And I'm going to copy and paste this a few times. Copy, paste, paste. So D2 and D3. So we'll say Snoopy. And about well, Chloe, that was one of my dogs. Okay, so right now in the Java heap space, it has made uh, allocated room for these objects to exist. And that's what new dog does, or new any object does, is it allocates that memory in the Java heap space. Where if I just said private dog D4 and I don't instantiate it, I've pretty much just declared this dog, but I haven't allocated the memory space to it yet until I say down here d4 equals new dog. Now I gotta come up with another name, uh, Tippy. Alright, I remember getting bit by a dog named Tippy as a kid. So we need to break that static static and to dereference something what we would do is we would say d2 now equals new dog let's say max okay so if I wanted to sys out d2 we're gonna get max we're not gonna get Snoopy so what happened to Snoopy Snoopy was in the garbage collector that gets automatically run in the Java virtual machine so now it got rid of this memory location and made it available to put more data in it so I'm not sure exactly if this got put in there because we don't have direct access to that memory spot from at least where I'm at in this eclipse but we know that that no longer exists and it gave space for more objects to be created. So that is what garbage collecting does and 
you can call methods that will do the garbage collection for you but in my opinion it's completely unnecessary because Java handles that for you and that's a nice way of programming because and a lazy way because now we don't have to keep allocating more memory space for objects that we're not using anymore we're not dealing directly with that but I like that so it makes life easier thank Java for that one and that's what it is so please join me in the next tutorial and this was just a little tutorial about heap space and garbage collection. I don't know if it should be in the advanced Java tutorial set or not, but I felt like it might be a nice little bonus video for you guys. Thank you guys for watching.